Hi, my name is Jennifer, and I'm trying to put together a broadcast for business ideas at work to get people back to work, to get back to making a decent living and raising your family. And there's a couple places that I was thinking about uh, when I thought about what small business ideas were, and that was Amway. And also um, other forms of employment and I was trying to think of ways to get started and I realized that the small business startup costs are way more involved and I know this firsthand because I tried to start a small business because I couldn't get steady employment and it got to the point where I would go, I would work at a job for maybe like nine months and then the job would either, you know, maybe there would be like a, a situation where I had to move or I had to relocate and there was no alternative. And I thought about carpooling and I thought, well, wouldn't that be nice that you would have a standard location as, um, and you would have to obviously uh, know it in advance about the people that would be in the carpool. And I was like, well, how, I wonder how you do that. Well, with insurances and things like that, it's hard to do that. So Uber was the alternative to carpooling. And I don't know about you all, but there are so many things that could have been done here. And now with the options for small business, if you apply for a small business loan, you could start a business and the cost would be, well, minimal if you had a small business loan. You still have to pay back the loan though. So for some of us who either, be, you know, want to become a beautician or work at a company here in the greater Pittsburgh region, which is like Cranberry Township, there's restaurant jobs, which you have no set hours. A lot of times people work different shifts. And I realized the complicated thing that we run into is having a set place to go, a steady job, and a job with uh, benefits and options. Like not, I'm not just talking about health benefits. I'm talking about areas where you could grow into that position you start out entry level say you start out as a server and you end up working for the corporate office things like that like how do you grow into that business opportunity and would it involve personal enhancement what what would it involve so these are the things that we put together and we wanted to put an education software together and talk about our personal stories and how people got into radio. Do you make money? Uh, just kind of like um, a, a conference where people would be able to talk. And I started Amateur Radio Network in 2015 in North Carolina so that you could learn a little bit about multimedia. You could learn a little bit about anything that involved multimedia. And because Amateur Radio Network is my small business idea, I realize that there are a lot of people that don't have any skills and want to learn how to operate a small business and make a decent living. Like, how do you make money on AdSense? How do you make money at marketing? It's very difficult on social media if you don't have the skills or tools or somebody to help you. So... I branched off and realized that you have to have a service that offers like, you know, like at the end of the day, there's um, an answering service. And those are the things that I was thinking like, well, you have to have a job to get to the career that you want. So there are small ideas at work, sm small business ideas at work. It's just being able to network with people. And social media is a great way to network. You talk to your friends, you talk to your family. And that's why I came back to Amway because they do have offers 
and products and a very low startup uh, cost. But that's why this uh, small business ideas at work <laughs> blog is about is to get people back to work so that they can put food on their table and it is really comes down to getting back to work thank you for listening to our very important broadcast